Hi everybody, so in video 1896 we made this thing which is a blow generator and it sort of takes the principles of generation and puts them all into one device and essentially you've got a way of capturing the energy which for that was like a blow section like this and then a way of converting that energy into electricity which was this generator section that we've got here. Now it caused some great comments and one that I really liked was from Cube Techie. He said why don't you just do that and connect it to a PC fan and that will save you the generation part of it and he's dead right it really would because there was a craze on the internet of turning those things into generators. It's really dead simple to do. You'll find at least a billion videos on how to do it and I've done one myself which I'll link to at the end of this video. So it's dead simple to turn that into a generator section and of course what it saves you the trouble of is making this section here. I mean, I love this section. It's got a flywheel and it's brilliant. But he's quite right. If you want to do these things, sometimes it's much simpler just to convert what there already exists. So, convert that following the video instructions and you've got yourself a generator. Our issue then is connecting the section that captures the energy to that there. It's pretty easy really. What you need is a little bit of plastic that glues on the top and then some kind of surround. So I've come up with this. So I created this Tinkercad drawing and of course these Tinkercad files are free and available for anybody who wants to use them and I put the link in the description and you can see we've got two base plates, they're the two plates in red, then in pink we've got the rotor, in cream we've got the body of the generator, this brown is a, a cap and then we've got a kind of golden colour which is a plastic attachment. But that is the basic PC fan air generator right there. Okay, so I've printed those parts out. Now it's this little section here that we saw that has to be glued onto that bit there. But it's still a PC fan so if you spin that it's going to be a fan. So first thing is to break off those blades. Now those blades break off just uh, really easily actually. I've got some needle nose pliers, get them in there, give it a snap and the blades come straight off. Once you've done that, stick a bit of steel bar in that cap. It's 8mm bar and it's 60mm long and then we glue that straight on there. When that's glued on, add the top cap. Now this is an 80mm fan and everything's done for 80 millimeters. If you want a bigger fan, make it bigger. In the body I've put a bearing. Now universally I use um, skater bearings, 22mm by 8mm, hence the 8mm bar. So that goes on there like that. There we go. And put a bit of glue in there to hold it. Then we've got the cap with another bearing in and then the rotor. So let's glue that down. 8mm washer, drop it in and then the rotor. We blow down here so the rotor wants to go with the cups facing the direction of blow. So pop the rotor in. Drop another washer on top and then we cap with the bearing in it, put the cap on. So I've soldered an LED onto the output. Now in video 1896 we did talk about the various electronics and storage that you might put in there. And I've created this bottom bit with enough depth to take those electronics, but we're just going to put an LED in it. And you stick the LED in the little hole that's ready, and then that clips on there like that. Okay, there it is, all finished and closed over. Let's give it a blow. We've got the whirring sound back! <laughs> okay, that was certainly fun to do. Now, you have to remember what this is about. This is about principles. What we've got here is an energy capture device based on the fluid energy. Now, a fluid is a gas or a liquid. The difference between a gas and a liquid is that a gas will fill the volume you put it into, where a liquid will only fill to its own volume. So if I get half a pint of water and pour it into a pint glass, a liquid will fill half that pint glass. If I do the same with gas, the gas will fill the entire pint glass. So gases and liquids differ in the volume they will occupy, but they are both fluids. And something like that, a cupped rotor in a cylinder, is a way that fluids can capture energy. So inject the fluid into that rotor, it will turn the rotor. 
That energy capture is then transferred into electrical energy using a generator. Now in this case we used a PC fan that we converted to a generator. In this case we built our own generator. But they both do exactly the same thing. So in answer to the question, will this work on compressed air? Yes, it's a fluid. Will it work on a garden hose? Yes, it's a fluid. Will it work with an air pump? Yes, it's a fluid. So any fluid put into here, a gas or a liquid, is going to turn that rotor. It's really just about the arrangement of it. Because this energy capture device, remember we talked about wind generators as being two parts, an energy capture and a conversion to electricity. This energy capture device is four fluids. This conversion device is identical. It's a, an arrangement of magnets and coils of wire that spin to turn mechanical motion into electrical energy. So this is just the same thing as a wind generator, a water wheel, anything. It just differs in the fact that the energy transfer medium we're using is a fluid instead of wind pressure or water pressure. Anyway, that's a very compact, easy to make device. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.